Hey guys, I said I would show you how to do one of the graphic black and whites that I've been doing. And um, so in preparation for that, I did one with the faux frame that I showed how to do the other day. And um, very simply, all you do to do one of these graphics is once you've got your frame in place, I'm sure it's fairly self-evident that um, you use painter's tape to create the lines on the canvas. Um, I would highly recommend if you're doing this to use the frog tape because it covers up quite a bit better than the regular masking tape and you get crisper lines. Um, but don't panic if your lines aren't perfectly done because I am going to share how to clean this up later. Um, but all I do to get these done is just simply to put tape on like I'm doing right now. Um, and just remember that whatever we paint over is going to be a different color. So in this case, I painted the canvas white and then I did the technique to get the faux frame on it by using a wide piece of duck or the, of the frog tape. And, um, then paint it over it with black and that leaves you with the frame around the edge. Um, so you just kind of want to choose a design that you like. I happen to like how these look with triangles on them. So um, I do a number of triangles on the canvas and get a design I like and um, then paint over it. But I thought I would just show you the beginning process so that you can see how that's done. Now you want to run your fingers along the edges of this tape just to make sure that it's stuck down um, really well. So I've done a couple there so you can see how that works. Uh, and just so you know, you can get frog tape in a couple of different widths. I've got three here and I use all three to create the design on the canvas. So I'm just going to show you have one here that I've put a design on um, and I think I'm done so I'm just now going to take my other black paint and I'm going to grab a roller so today I went out actually not today the other day I went out and bought um, small a small roller so that I could do this on smaller pieces and I'm just going to apply some black paint. Uh, I'm just using house paint. And then I will go and just roll over what I've got here. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. You want to make sure that it's pretty well covered. I've got a lot of black going on to this one, so depends on what you want. You can cover more of the white with the tape and end up with more white on your piece. Um, it also helps with showing that the piece has been framed. But in this case, I'm doing one that's fairly black. And just make sure that you cover everything fairly well. Just like this. And I always sort of look for um, spots that might be bare on the canvas as I'm doing it. And just go over those again. And the biggest thing to remember about this is that once you have got your design down on the canvas, you really need to remove the tape while the paint is still wet. If you don't, it sort of bonds to the edges of the paint and you can end up with um, edges that are peeling up when you go to pull that paint tape off. So I am just gonna start. You always wanna pull it pretty carefully um, because if it rolls on itself, you will end up getting black paint on your canvas so I'm making a mess here that I'm gonna clean up later 
Um, now these are the ones that get a little tricky uh, when you've got a whole bunch that are stuck together, but if you pull fairly carefully, you can get them off, usually in one big piece, but I do wanna make sure that it doesn't fold in on itself uh, because I don't wanna get black on the white there. from the white in the design just to keep it clean. And you can see that this is not completely perfect because I have gone over the edge a little bit and that is absolutely fine, but there's my initial design. Uh, if you wanna make changes to it, you absolutely can after it is dry. Um, let's say that you go, oh wow, there's like way too much white in this area here I could add more black if I wanted to but you have to let this dry before you do that but you can do this in several layers um, but it's as simple as that and I will go over and touch up the frame um, in this case because I have um, gone over it and I can see the little bit of triangle on the side but you can just go over the edges um, and make sure that you cover that up and there you go, simple as that.